Hello there and welcome back to another video. Today guys, we are here in part number two of the beginner two pro um, scripting tutorial series right now guys, which is awesome. And um, in today's video, we're going to be talking about variables and constants. I'll be explaining exactly what these are and when you will need to use these during your scripting, um, during scripting games guys. This is pretty much one of the most useful things that you need to know if you guys don't have these then your game will never work so yeah well, you definitely need to learn about these guys before i start anything off over here though and show you guys exactly what these are and how to use them i first need to go in and tell you a little bit about rblxcodes.com which is my own roblox code website where you can find out game codes music codes and guides there is tons of stuff in there that you guys have to check out overall we cover codes for over 300 um roblox games so if you guys need a code for a game we'll be there anyway guys i guess let's just go ahead and go on into this video now okay guys so what are we gonna go in and do right now well this is actually the first time we're gonna actually get a script so what you guys can do here is just add a script wherever you guys want we can just add any script into the workspace i guess guys and just add a script over here it can literally be any script you want guys because these are gonna be working in server scripts local scripts and module scripts guys so what you guys are gonna want to go ahead and do right now um well i'm gonna explain what actually variables and constants are so a variable is something that stores a bit of data stores a value and that changes um that changes during your script however a constant is pretty much the same as a variable however it stays the same hence why it's called constant and variable is called variable because it varies if you guys get what i mean that, that's how you can kind of remember them so um how exactly do you put variables and constants into your code well guys it's actually the same thing all you need to do is just um actually type in local and that's gonna start our new variable or constant to be defined right now guys and then after that just simply type in the name of what your variable what you want to name your variable and there's a few different like ways of naming variables there's camel case where um the the first letter is lowercase and then the second letter sorry guys the first letter of the first word is lowercase and the second letter uh, for, sorry the first letter of the second word is uppercase something like that guys you can also do it like um you can also do the underscore one so there we go guys and then you can also do it capitals on both um like something like this guys you, you can name them however you guys want however i recommend naming them something that you're going to be easily um something that relates to what they store and will be easily um the final later one if you guys get what i mean over here so how exactly can we make a variable over here guys i'm just gonna go on and call this variable over here right now guys and you then after that put equals and then after this guys you put a value there's different types of values that you guys can put here there's number values and um, which are integers that could be something like 100 that means that this variable right now stores the integer 100 we could put real or floats which is actually decimal so that if this was 10.1 this would um actually hold a float and then you can name them strings so if you guys put these in speech marks guys then that'll name it that, that, that'll actually make it a string guys which is really really useful because let's say you want to change the name of something you guys are going to want to use a string um or like to find the name of something you're going to want to use a string however if you do like some math stuff you're going to want to make the variable a arithmetic variable a variable over there guys if you guys get what i mean you can also add boolean and um, values to this for example true or false um these are useful let's say if you wanted to check if the player um let's say if the player stepped on a pad and if the player had a key in their inventory if they did not have a key then this would go false and if they did it would go true and the script would check if this value was true or false if you guys get what i mean so how exactly you well how, how does a variable um change from a constant guys because this could be either so how exactly do they change well variables values do change right now guys so what would be a variable over here well to um so here we are defining our variable and now we would actually update it by actually typing in variable again is equal to variable plus one so now we are actually adding um one to the variable over here guys so you can also um do like math stuff of this but we'll just set that at one over there guys so now our variable is equal to the value of this variable plus one right now so our variable value is changing whenever you change the value of a variable do not put local just put it at the name of the variable guys now we are changing it we could continue this again guys and keep on changing the value of this variable and that's how it's actually um that, that's how it's actually changing and that's what's making this a variable however guys if you wanted to add a constant into this so local constant um is equal to one 
we could actually do variable put plus the constant over here guys as the constant staying the same the constant is always one we are now just adding one to the variable and the advantage of actually using constants instead of just doing one 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 is that if i wanted to maybe add two each time if i did not have the constant in i would have to update these all individually however guys if i just have the constant over here i could just simply update the value of this so now they would all add by two if you guys get what i mean so that's pretty much variables and constants for you all guys and um, if you in short if you want a value that's going to change that's going to be a variable and if you want to keep a value the same throughout the code and um, let's say it's a luck multiplier and you want to easily update it later on let's say if you want to change the the look of an item then that's when you're going to use constants guys so they're basically the same but they do similar similar things but again pretty much the same, same thing if you guys get what i mean over there that's going to be it for this video right now i hope you all did enjoy this video if you did make sure to like and subscribe to show some support and peace out Thank you